Hi everybody, it's Jen from Prairie Arts Center. I'm gonna quickly talk us through what supplies we need for this fun fox face um, project. I'm also going to try to not say um a million times, which I have been noticing I do when I make videos of myself. So maybe as a side project, you could count my ums. <laughs> okay, you're gonna want uh, some watercolor paper. Uh, larger is better. You could also use newspaper print if you don't have any watercolor paper. You're gonna need something big and round to trace with. I used a dinner plate because I wanted my fox face to be really large. You will need a set of watercolor paints. Uh, I don't know if that counts as an um. Uh, you will also want acrylic paint for the details, the eyes and the nose. So I have white and just white and black acrylic paint. Obviously, you will not be needing this much. Alternatively to that, you could also just cut out white paper and black paper for those details if you didn't have acrylic paint. We'll all need a glue stick or Elmer's glue would be fine too. Liquid glue would be fine. Did I say a paintbrush and some water? If I didn't, you'll need that too. I have my handy apron on to cover myself up in case I spill. And that's about it. Um, so we're gonna, oh, there was an um. We're gonna switch camera angles and you can see my hands and we'll make this fun fox face together. All right, see you in a moment. So to get started, you're gonna want to trace your circle on your paper. So that is step one. Okay, and then you're going to obviously cut that out, which I have already done, um, so that I, you don't have to listen to me cutting paper. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be the background for your fox face, and I have chosen traditional colors, orange and yellow and um, red watercolor. You may make your fox uh, blue, pink, you know. You, you can make the fox of your imagination if you would like. Um, and like I said, I think I said in the beginning, this is a nice project for um, really any skill level because this part is easy and fun and you can just play with paint and watch the watercolor move around. You can go light, you can go dark. And you can mix colors, you can do all one color. Your choice. You could do some effects. I like I like to make some drop droplet effects just by adding some water. Um, onto my paint. Okay. And I went very fast. You don't have to go that fast. In fact, I hope you do not go that fast. Take your time and enjoy the process. So, oh, I guess I, I should show you. This is where we're headed. Okay. So, once you have done that, then you are going to, well, actually, you know what? Let's, before we move on to that, use your leftover paper, if you have any, to cut out your ears. And you know, in my opinion, the bigger the better with the fox ear. And I didn't get real picky about shape. I kind of did it off the cuff and you want a little extra to glue it down behind and you're going to want to watercolor those too so again colors of your choice I kind of did a darker color around the outside 
Um, and then a lighter color on the inside. I might go over this with a little bit of uh, white acrylic paint too to give it the look of fur. Okay. So you can set those aside to dry and you you know since this is a video you can pause. I've got my already dried materials here so that I can just keep talking. Um, so this is my dried fox face and the next thing you're going to do is you're going to fold in the circle so that you get the you know the white of the face and come down to a pointed nose. So again I didn't get real hung up on how perfect it was and I did a little overlap okay something like that and then you're going to want to do your eyes and again I'm going to paint my eyes but you could uh, if you wanted to cut out your eyes with paper, black and white paper. Okay. <laughs> I feel like it, I made his eyes kind of close together. So he looks a little bit like a, maybe a goofy fox. And then you're gonna do your nose at the tip. And since those are folded over, you might wanna go ahead and do some black, you know, underneath. So there's your basic fox face. And then the last step, is just gluing your ears down okay and I was thinking about the fact that it's springtime and I was thinking you could could do um, a big mama fox big headed mama fox and then use some side plates to trace some circles and make some baby foxes because it's about that time of year um, and that my friends is that so I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you, um, yeah, have fun with your fox family. And if, if you'd like, you can always tag us on social media, um, on Facebook or Instagram, and show us what you've done. All right, have a great day, everybody.